Well, certainly looking forward to uh, the last week of spring practices and I've liked what the, the group has done as far as I think it's been productive and certainly looking forward to finishing this week and culminating in the uh, you know Friday night, which will be a combination of some practice, but then a chance to for a lot of our uh, younger players to, to play and hopefully play a lot. So uh, looking forward to this week and, and Friday night should be, a, should be a good finish to what I think has been a good spring to this point. Paul, you mentioned some of the younger guys, and in part because of injury, you've had like an inside linebacker and offensive line a chance to look at some young people, probably get them more reps than they might have. Right. Has anyone caught your eye because of that extra work that they've gotten so far? Most definitely. I, I think if you're talking about the inside linebackers, you know, I think it's been really good for uh, Mike Mascalunas and, uh, and, and Griff Grady. He's gotten a lot of work. Heck, uh, the other day, you know, Noel Burks was getting quite a bit. I felt bad for Nick Thomas because I thought he was really a guy that, you know, now that this is second spring, really third because he came in early. Um, and it was starting to really see, I think, under, understanding the defense. So he knew that and, and seeing it. And, and I think up front in the old line, it's been great for uh, Tyler Biotich. And uh, Patrick Castle, I think, you know, I thought this the other day that Cole Van Landen st started to play a little bit faster in some areas. And, and I think that's a product of a lot of reps, you, you're getting that work. And so it's, um, that's where spring's so valuable or I won't say invaluable to, to that group like that. You know, I think at the safety spot, you know, Patrick Johnson, that's his first spring and he's, He's been noticeable, and uh, each position can probably go down the list. But I think definitely for the inside backers in the O-line, um, you know, Tyler and Patrick have been getting a lot of reps with the ones in the O-line. And, uh, you know, Mike Mascalunas has been getting a ton of work there. Even just with the numbers, it's been good. You, you know, we moved Arrington at inside backer, and, and to him, you know, Friday night he got a, he got a lot of work. So it was good. A little follow-up on Nick Thomas. Uh, do you do you know about the severity of the injury? Will that affect him next year? A chance to do anything? Do you know? Fortunately for Nick, uh, you know he's missing the rest of spring, but he should be healthy and ready to go for summer workouts. So that you know, same with uh, Austin Ramish, he should be good for summer workouts. So. Um, you know, knock on wood to this point. Fan's the only one that I think has something that will take him out of the summer workout program. Paul, I know it kind of just works with the schedule that you guys have had this spring, but playing on a Friday night, does it give you a little bit anything because you guys are opening on a Friday night as well? Do you kind of give you a little, a little bit of a game experience for guys? No. I don't think so. All right. You know, you've got a lot of kids, obviously, enrolled early. And some of those kids, obviously, have taken advantage of a Dieter, Alex Hornerbrook. Do you encourage that when you talk to recruits, if it's an option for them? Or do you just say, you know, if you've got an important spring season, don't worry about it? How do you handle that? I think it's really individual decision. And for instance, Jake Ferguson, you know, their basketball team goes to, goes to state. And that's that's pretty neat. And uh, you know, Danny Vandenboom's had a really good basketball team and, and a good baseball team. Remember Alec Ingold? You know, he was he played at state. You know, won state in wrestling. Um, but then some, and we talk about this. If, if senioritis is going to hit in, and you're going to be that guy, then then let's start early. But if you're going to maximize the rest of your senior year, there's nothing wrong with that either. Can you just talk about how the spring game is since you played till now? I think all of them are all BTN has them all live and they're all on TV now. How it's kind of evolved in the past 10, 20 years, just how big of a thing it is? I thought it was a bigger thing when I was playing because we had crazy legs, 
Really, the spring game was just halftime before Butch's baloney bash. I mean, that was a pretty good day. <laughs> and yet now it's uh, certainly different. And uh, I don't know. I was just talking about this with a couple of the coaches. You know, now it seems like we're – I mean, there's other schools that can't even – don't even have five healthy offensive linemen. I don't know if more guys are injured now than they were back then, but it seemed like – it's different, but it's it's uh, it's all good. Oh, oh hi. Hi. How are the uh, two young quarterbacks coming along, Jack Cohen and Kari Lyles? You know, they've been getting able to get a lot of work, and to their credit, I think they're getting something out of it. And so they're, uh, you know, this is really, Kari was here last year, but didn't, you know, he was missed it because of injury, so... It's his first spring, and Jack's as well, and and I think uh, are getting good work. You know, I think that they are. You know, we talked to them. You know, this isn't. A, don't try to. You guys aren't competing yet for a spot. You're just trying to learn it, and and they get enough reps to where they can learn it. They can screw up, come back at it. Um, I've liked what they've done. I think they both have progressed. And, um, you know, I think Jack's done a really good job of learning the playbook to where he can, you know, he doesn't have ultra-limited selection of plays. You know, so I think he's done a nice job. And I think there's a ton for for him just being comfortable with the guys even, you know. And I think I'd say the same with the, you know, six of the seven that came in early should still be in high school. And, and I think they've done a really nice job of adjusting and just being around the guys. And, and I think that's as much of the transition as it is playing. But, you know, like Isaiah Green May's got a better idea of the speed of it. And I think, you know, Madison Cohn has done a nice job of studying it and, and giving himself a chance. So he's going out and playing, and, and that, that helps his confidence. So um, two young quarterbacks, it's been good. And I think the, the young kids have done a pretty nice job of – putting themselves in a position where they can actually get something out of spring ball. Well, you, you've talked about trying to build up the offensive line since you got back here, it, largely physically. This will be the third unit next year. It's I know we're still months away, but do you think that some of the ground that you guys have made up in the weight room and on the practice field will will help that line even more next year? Yes, I believe it'll it'll help, and I think we still have a ways to go. And uh, you know, there's I remember if you go back, there's a lot of guys that played really good football and were good players for us that got their first starts as redshirt juniors. And you got Michael Dieter, who's going into redshirt junior year, and. He's got a ton of starts under his belt. And so, um, but I think the guys, that they've been, you appreciate it. They're putting the time in, in the weight room. They're putting the time in, in the film room. And, and certainly they're putting the time in at practice. And and that has to help them. And so um, I think that's been a good progression for those guys. And, and they can only do what you ask them to do and they do their best. And I think they're given that. And so... I think it will result in still growth by that group. Do you have a format for the spring game so when fans come in, they know what they're going to see? Yes. Do you care to share, <laughs> Coach Christ? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think. We're going to so we're going to have a little warm up. That'll be before 6:30 when the clock starts. We're going to do some. Practice where we're not tackling, uh, and we'll do some team. We'll do a skelly, do another team. We'll do a punt period, and then at some point we'll go in. They want the field for 15 minutes. Game management does, so we'll leave the field, and then we'll come back out, and and then we'll play what looks like football, hopefully. 
like last year we came out and then we didn't do that because I wanted to get some work with uh, some of the older guys, but I didn't want them tackling. So we would do that. We're now going to learn from that mistake. We're going to do that before. So the kind of the practice part of the two phases, one's practice part, go in, come back out and play what hopes to be looks like a football game. That will be tackle football.